Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Can Fimo Lopez the takeover take over the game as we know it today and beat Vasily Lomachenko? You can see the fight already setting up. You see that Tiafimo Lopez is already going after a world title. Therefore, he's trying to go ahead and nail down the Vasily Lomachenko fight. We've heard Vasily Lomachenko state that he's not really interested in the Tiafimo Lopez fight, but not because he's ducking, but because because it doesn't necessarily make sense for him to be fighting a guy who's not a world champion when he's trying to unify the division or fighting a guy who's not an established big name fighter but Tiafimo Lopez is an upcoming fighter um, he's a very talented fighter and he's the type of guy that we need to see Vasil Lomachenko go against because you know what styles really do make fights and not only that we need Vasil Lomachenko to take on more challenges and the better challenges that Vasil Lomachenko takes on, the bigger and better his legacy becomes. So let's just start breaking it down. Now, Vasil Lomachenko, we already know his history. We know his record and we know who he is. We, Vasil Lomachenko is an elite fighter. He's a pound for pound top five fighter. He has a record of 12 and one with nine knockouts. So out of his 13 fights, he only took one loss against an Orlando Salido and Orlando Salido who came in overweight, who hit him with a lot of low blows and Vasil Lomachenko almost stopped him at the end. But at the end of the day, it was a loss is still a loss but Vasil Lomachenko is still a top level fighter still an elite level fighter and I believe if they rematch today Vasil would stop him easy Vasil Lomachenko is probably the best um, you know and most historic amateur to ever box with a record of 396 wins and one loss um, it basically you know he's a three-weight world champion um in in only 13 fights he's already beaten top guys nicholas walter guillermo rigo jorge lenadas gary russell jr and so he's he's already shown elite level skills and talent he's a problem vasil lomachenko is 31 years old he's a southpaw he's five foot seven with the 65 and a half inch reach so vasil lomachenko is the real deal he fights at 135 pounds and so when you look at tiafimo lopez on the other end tiafimo lopez has 12 wins no losses 10 knockouts um he's 21 years old and that's one of the biggest discrepancy in experience and age you know tiafimo is a very young guy nowhere near his prime nowhere near where he would be best um tiafimo lopez is 5 8 and has a 68 and a half inch reach so he has youth on his side over vasil but but you know vasil has experience um Tiafimo Lopez does have a slight height and reach advantage over Vasil, but with a guy as skilled as Vasil Lomachenko, you can't expect that to be a huge difference in that fight. So when you look at Tiafimo Lopez and you look at some of the things he said, he said he'll show everyone how to beat uh, Vasil Lomachenko. He's also stated that Lomachenko is an old lion now and that doesn't want young lions. And when you look at it, Vasil Lomachenko, you know, he has great skills. He's shown some weaknesses being dropped by Jorge Linares. He's shown some weaknesses, you know, not being able to handle the rugged style of Orlando Salido. Um, a lot of people feel that was very controversial, but it, it is what it is. A loss is still a loss. So when you look at a fight between Tiafimo and Vasil Lomachenko, a few things stick out. You look at Vasil, Lim, uh, Vasil Lomachenko's, you know, his, his skill set, the fact that he's able to use angles, the fact that, you know, he's a crafty fighter and he can hit you with shots that you can't necessarily counter or C, and that's what make guys go no mas. But when you look at his, um, when you look at Tiafimo Lopez, he's the type of guy that hits you flush on the chin. He's going to put you to sleep. That's what that's what Tiafimo Lopez does. He can put you to sleep. The knock against Tiafimo Lopez is we haven't seen him in there against any top level fighter. We haven't seen him in there against any, I'll say even a solid B level fighter. We need to see that from Tiafimo Lopez first. And so fighting a guy like a Richard Comey would be a huge uh, step up for Tiafimo Lopez. That's that's what I would like to see Tiafimo go in there, beat that type of opponent, and then take on a Vasil Lomachenko. And that could be what happens. So when you look at Vasil versus, you know, Tiafimo Lopez, I have to break it down right now and be honest and unbiased about it. I think Vasil Lomachenko would obviously have the edge because he has so many skills, he has experience. But then when you look at the youth advantage, you look at the height, the reach, and the knockout power, clear is obvious that it's going to go with Tiafimo Lopez. Um, you know, I think experience would play a huge factor in this fight. 
And this is such a dangerous fight for Vasil Lomachenko that many people don't realize is because, yes, Vasil Lomachenko could probably outbox Teofimo the vast majority of the fight. But if he get caught with something really flush, hard on the chin, and we've seen Vasil Lomachenko get caught on the chin before, and we've seen him get into minor slugfests at time because he wants to entertain the fans and because he wants to get the stoppage, you know, he can sometimes be drawn into those battles. I believe that Tiafimo can knock him out and put him to sleep. So I, I would still edge Vasil Lomachenko in any fight with Tiafimo Lopez right now. I think he's just a uh, more experienced, better overall fighter. But that does not mean that Tiafimo Lopez would not be able to stop Vasil. 